What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off happened last time, we captured Sarajevo and we saw off a Ottoman army that was ravaging the countryside and now it is ours. And I think what we might want to try to do is... It's unfortunate we can't get an alliance, but you know, we're going to have to keep on trying. Because ultimately we're going to have a long border with the Austrians and... Unless we manage to capture all of this and start to actually start to suppress the, the Ottomans a bit, we're not going to be in that much of a state to actually repel them. But we have this army up here in Sarajevo, which is being replenished. And then we have a reasonable garrison down here in Athens, which I think, with the addition of some artillery, may um, go off and see off this army under Ramazan Tevfik. But actually what we might want to do is send... is to send some... get, get some cavalry scouts to start to see... Um, who lies up threat of us because right now we have no visibility we can't research anything but the plan is to go to school here so we've got this Turkish bath that will be help be ready to Ooh, Western European infantry mercenaries eh? Oh, I don't know um, but yes things are going to be things that things are rocking and rolling I think and I'm feeling pretty confident so this army i'm eventually want to expand to another army to push eventually to push on istanbul but i'd like this army to take um serbia at least maybe threatening bulgaria i'd like to have a bit more a few more options i think i might pull i'm not even going to try and pronounce that surname all right to be honest sloops are cheap upkeep 128 and if from pirating he's getting a good old chunk of cash then I might let him keep it let him carry on doing what he's doing yeah lots of trade is being disrupted and turn uh, this is why trade is trade is useful um, but it's very difficult to start. at least you know one that's got any sort of endurance but that's kind of why you want to trade with the naval powers because they should eventually be able to maintain control of the sea and then start to keep trade open. And then you start to get nations like, uh, well, as as the war develops, you know, you're not relying on Europe to keep the European waters free. It's Britain and her allies, say, keeping European waters open. And Denmark's been going aggro. Um, they did a nice job at capturing, uh, fighting off that United Provinces navy, which had an army on it. They didn't sink it, I don't think. So that's a bit of a concern. Carry on doing what you're doing, Austria. Just leave me alone. That's all I want to know. Just leave me alone. Oh, France has taken Amsterdam. Lovely. Prussia's trading. Everyone's after the the uh, the Barbary states. The Barbary states wouldn't be a bad place to expand to, really, because they'll at least provide some options. Oh, so that's they're going to go up to garrison Belgrade. Perfect, and there's a small stack heading our way um, across the, along, past the, uh, towards Athens, except just on the, to the northeast. But in general, things are going okay. So you're going to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, 5,000 next turn because some of the trades opened up. So let's repair this and let's get a school going. Because I really, really, really want to have... Um, want to research fire by rank. That makes me so happy. Then let's get recruiting that unit of cavalry. We'll get, actually, let's get one of these special units. Got these dragoons. Oh, they're there. They're, they're right there, like mounted. Yeah, the state guards. They've got really good weapons. Really good, really good ranged capability for dragoons. Police, military police in the first decade of military. Yeah. Might get some carabiners as they're cheap. And that's it, because I can't really do anything else. Ooh, yeah, the clamour for reform is going to be bad, but that's why I need to keep upgrading this Turkish bath, really, for as long as I can. New nation, nation destroyed, United Provinces, thankfully. 
New Nation Rises, Hanover. New Nation Rises, Westphalia. I don't quite know how that works. I thought we had to capture them all. Good God, that's an elite army from Navy. Grenadiers, Lancers. Yeah, no, I cannot get involved in any European wars. Good grief. Can't see with you. I suppose they've got all this late Hungarian Fusiliers. Austrian Hungarian Decimivi. Swiss Guards. Yeah, no, I can't and don't want to get involved in European wars. I cannot. i got no time for that. But let's keep you here for now. So I need to be pretty pretty hot on um, keeping that the, the happiness building upgraded and keeping my political building in that region upgraded to try and compensate somewhat. And at some point I need a church to start spitting out uh, missionaries because if I'm orthodox, if I'm orthodox there's n apart from Russia there is no other orthodox regions in the, on, in the game so I can't rely on doing things like as America conquering former Prussian territories and assuming that they'll have done the bulk of the effort in converting the region for me so I need to build those I need to build those towns those uh, buildings in order to generate the people to do the converting I have to do that Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things are doing going so well. I have no allies. Oh, my God. Oh my god. That's the worst possible thing that could, that could have happened. That's that's just appalling. That's awful. That's really bad. And I that could that could could kill the campaign because I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've not got the money. Unless Okay, I have a cre okay, 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 okay. I've got an idea. How about I abandon Greece? <laughs> Cause that might be what I have to do. Cause I got all this coming and they're all nice and Yeah, no, I'm not gonna No, I can't I can't win. I can't beat that. I just can't. So let's Burn everything down. If I have to surrender it, I'm not going to give them anything. Let's pull you back. And let's have a look. How's Tunis looking this time of year? It's going to be abysmal and it's going to be really bad. But I need to stay away from Austria. I need to just... Well, to be honest, okay, request peace and have... Bosnia. How about that? Oh, God alive. Okay, what about... No, I don't want to request peace with Austria, though. With Prussia. With, with the Ottomans, though. Okay, so Austria. Ally with Britain, Russia... God, Britain, Prussia, and Russia. So all of their borders are safe. And are they allied with Venice as well? I am the only enemy on their border, so they they will just come straight for me. Okay, guys, I need to yeah, I need to abandon Greece. There's no there's no two ways about it. I can't I can't do this. And ultimately, Greece isn't worth a huge amount. Two thousand is a good old chunk of change, unless I effectively abandon ship to Cairo. And carve out a new Middle East Empire. That's an option. How's Cairo looking? <gasps> we can absolutely take Cairo. And Cairo's like a new Egypt. New Greece, sorry. And I'd be, to, I'd be a bit... I'd be, I wouldn't have... They would have to at least cross the sea. Granted, they've got navies, but... Could do it maybe. I mean, 
but maybe, maybe. Okay. You guys. Oh god, why? Okay, cancel, cancel building, cancel building. You, okay. So you, you here. Sloop, get back to Piraeus. And get ready. Because I want this guy, he is going to nail it back to here as fast as he can. And they are going to sail over, try hit Cairo, and capture it. And then I'll probably try to expand Tripoli and Jerusalem, and it's going to be really... Oh, God, that's such a destabilizing thing to happen in this campaign. I don't... Oh, okay. Right. Austria, I thought you were my buddy. I thought you were my pal. Okay, let's try to peace with Grand Columbia. Why do you hate me so much? Okay. Well, I might send my current ga Athens garrison. They might go and try and hit Jerusalem. And horribly, if I give them Athens, they might give up. Oh, God, that's so annoying. In what This is the first campaign I've played, like, forever, where I'm having to actually contemplate giving away my capital <laughs> just to stay alive. <laughs> So I need to stay in Europe, because if I get kicked out of Europe, I lose the game. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, whatever that was, that's just bombed. Sorry about that, guys. My external hard drive, uh, for some reason, decided to stop start, and it minimised my screen. But it's a bit frustrating that the Ottoman, the Austrians aren't now just steamrolling in, considering I, as I destroyed all my buildings. Way, my plan is to no longer expand on the continent, and it is to go across the across the Mediterranean and rebuild. Basically, I need to make peace with them. I just need to because there's no, there's no option. There's no alternative. There's nowhere I can go. Like I can't. Oh, okay. oh there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not. Yeah, because oh, okay. Yeah, they are moving up. <laughs> flee, flee for your lives. I'm probably, oh god, 500. I'm not going to have, am I not getting any trade income at all? Oh, it's because I lost all my trade and trade agreement. No, wait. No, it's because I've lost my port. That's why. But once I take this one, to be honest, I might even just have to send them to go do it. March. So let's do that. Do they have walls? They do not. Disembark the army. <sighs> Maintain siege for now. You, my friend. Actually, go have a look at Jerusalem. Jerusalem's Jerusalem's oh, Jerusalem's a really poor region. And there's Damascus. Damascus has got some money. Either way, I'm going to probably want to go up to here and not build anything because I need everything. I need. Oh. Maybe if they take. Maybe. If they do, though, Athens is going to turn into a fortress and I'm going to expand somewhere else. <laughs> I thought capturing Sarajevo was going to be the good thing, but it's a terrible idea. Why did I capture Sarajevo? Oh. But yes, this is going to be still um, an interesting way 
about playing the Greek campaign. Um, so I'm not going to abandon... If they start marching on, on, on Athens, I'm effectively going to um, give it up. See, they're sending them off one unit at a time, just to taunt me how massive their armies are. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to defend against that. That's all that artillery... All that elite infantry. Nope. Good. We killed 99 of them. Oh, what? Okay, why can't we just do that? I don't want to give that region, because it means I'll effectively be surrounded. They'll give peace, but I want peace as it is now. I want them to leave me alone now. Well, I might just yeah, declare peace with the Ottomans. Well, no, I can't declare peace with the Ottomans. I'm about to take... Well, if I take Cairo, maybe I'll declare peace with the Ottomans. Mm-hmm. Take Cairo. Try get peace, because they might not agree to it, because they've just captured one of their cities. Make peace trade with them and let's try and figure out how we're going to do okay now let's just try just be nice so I'm I'm going to be very cautious. I'm effectively going to want to keep my guys together. Sorry, Athens. So ideally, in, what, in the next turn, I'll, when these guys take over the siege, I can pull these guys back and get them back into Athens. Oh, God, I'm absolutely loath to invest anything. 800 gold, it's not bad. Well, I say not bad. It's absolutely abysmal. Okay, if I take Cairo, I can try and make peace. Push and expand across North Africa. Even then, that starts to expose me. Oh, God, what am I going to do? I can't expand over to here, because then if I die in Europe, it'll knock me out of the game. Maybe I should completely fall back and just run to Malta. <laughs> and just go, nope, I'm just going to sit here. Athens is what, 2700 gold per turn. 2400. We're currently unhappy because of the war, but you've got a, you get a load of towns though. Yes, you get one, two, three, four towns. Okay, let's end turn and see what happens. I really don't know what I'm going to do. But we shall see. Because yeah, if I, if I lose all my regions in Europe, then the campaign is over. And I really don't want to do that. But I really don't know how I'm going to do this. Because Austria are all powerful. Although it's nice if they just stop attacking me. even one of those things if i had a full western army with artillery and fire by rank and stuff like that then i'd be more than happy to i'd be more than happy to just defend athens and just keep pushing them back and just go no you're not going to take it but my defenses are so weak and vulnerable at the minute Here comes georgia there is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select okay, so you maintain the siege. A fishing port will help your population you. grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Back in. Let's get my sloop back and get you back inside Athens. Mars. 
Request peace. Peace out. Come on. I'll give you two grand. Cause you're at war with damn everyone. You can let you can leave me be. I'll pay you five thousand. Request peace payment. Ten grand. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to do it because I've got no choice. I don't want to give them that region. Okay, what if I did it? Okay. So if I did. Peace, trade agreement, alliance. Just that. Peace Trade Agreement Alliance and oh, that sucks. Who are you at war with then? Spain. Hey, howdy, Spain. So who who are you allied with? That's the point. Britain, Russia, Prussia, Venice. Oh, so kind of. Okay, let's hold on for now. Probably gonna. I might. Yeah. Let's upgrade this Iron Master's works at least. This great arsenal. If we do hold out, then I'd like to get some better artillery. And let's take this yeah, army. Uh, Garrison mortars now. I think I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I do not want to risk anything in that to final attack. Yeah, let's get a major fishery. So if I get you a military governor's barracks, you can't get me decent infantry. Even the next garrison, even the next barracks can't get me good infantry. Sure, it gets me line, it gets me fusiliers and and um, line infantry guards, but only if I get the right tech. Grenadiers, it gets me it's them, but then again, that's limited as well to new model bayonet drill, which is down here. It's a fair few turns away. Barbary States, the Ottoman Empire is at war. Oh, I might just capture it. I might just go for it. Let's go for it. We need to secure Cairo. We can't too long. We need we need the money. We need the power. And we need the research. Like, I really need to... Even if it's going to hurt me economically, I need to build a school. Because I can't... I can't... I can't... I've, I mean, I'm already behind. Okay, so let's put you on. Scripts on the right. To be honest, it's bumped in there. Keep my cavalry right wide on the left. Push, 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 push. Gonna knock at everyone, I don't care. Because there are. There's one unit of their guns and there's the other unit. So we need to. move up and destroy them fast. Probably going to speed up time as well. Israelis, riskers of souls.
Meaning water's destroyed, and let's fall back. Let's allow my guns to now have a chance to engage at targets as they cross the crest of the hill. Particularly now, because this is a bunch of Islamic swordsmen, so... I need that firepower. Of the morale on these units is terrible. Pour fire into them with your guns while you can. Damn, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's get you guys out of there. So go get him, conscripts. So I we'll pretty much just want to run these guys away so I can just charge back into them. Sir, the general's fled. Job is more as I haven't been doing anything. Good, the risks of souls are coming back, but nevertheless, that will mean that these guys are going to get chewed up. Come on. Oops. 
absolute garbage. Oh, he's having a swordsman coming back. And let's get my cavalry to go on and smash into the riskers of souls. These guys are going to like this. Let's get my pikes to go and take capture the go hit the mortars. No, don't do that. I should let's get the general around to the flank. Let's hold the artillery. Okay, let's do some more killing of these guys. I don't know, actually you do better go get them because they do have guns. Good. They're shattered, so they've gone properly this time. Everyone, bar the mortars, has fled the field. So let's just speed up time and let things happen. Let nature take its course, because they seem to be okay with what's going on. Shaken, wavering, broken. Beautiful. The Greeks have started a new home. God alive. That was making the best of a bad situation. That's what this is. Phew. Make sure you've got enough money to do this. Repair the port. Don't worry about replenishing yet. Okay, so you're a happy building. Let's destroy your weaver's cottage. Let's build you into a church school. I need to destroy this cottage to build a to build a religious building. No, to build a uh, school. Probably upgrade you to a bawdy house now, because you're really going to hate that. In 58 turns, Aswan's going to be developed. And let's upgrade the roads. A new city is rising while we still hold Athens. Okay, let's hit end turn and see what happens. So I very much like it if Austria just leave, left me alone. But I doubt they will, them big old meanies. It'd be interesting to see how... So effectively, it's effectively World War. Yes, if they're allied with Britain and Prussia. Well, that means, well, France and Spain, you're screwed. But maybe America will get involved. I need to start trading with France. Even then though, realistically, how, de how dependable will that be? Oh yeah, here comes a force to do some sneaky old raiding. The Savoyards are on their way. God. Oh god. The, the end of this recording session. Like, I've recorded part, part 4, part 5, and this is part 6. And oh my god, I was I felt... I felt dodgy in part four, I felt positive in part five, and now I feel abysmal. Yeesh. But we'll get ourselves out of this one. Somehow. Because this has been a rocky old start. There is unused land suitable <gasps> for farming in this region. Building farms. A line's broken. They're trading with them, but they're not at war with them. Peace. Peace and trade. I'll give you a cool grant. Nope. They really want this region, even though there's not that much to it. Uh, 
and I'm going to want to take my... Or do I? Steal research. That's what you're going to do. You're going to steal me some research. We've secured here. Go, go kill that army. Good, you better run. Okay. So. See, I'm very friendly with Prussia, but they've not really done much to help me, so I think I might. Okay, can we. So if I try to trade with France, they're indifferent, but I want to cancel trade with Prussia. I mean, I can't trade much more any more of them anyway. Yeah, see, I can't do that. Which must no point in me messing around with trade, because I can't... I'm not losing or gaining anything. Okay, so you're there. Ooh, okay. So I might need to... If I do that, then I can do that. Yep, your clamber for reform is going to go up, and next turn you'll build, I'll get you your coffee house. These guys can replenish with what they've got. And now I need to keep you there. The army in Egypt needs to go and secure Jerusalem. And then it might mean I can try and get a trade agreement with the Mamelukes in Overland as well, so that should be pretty good. But of course, we'll see how things go. <laughs> oh god, oh holy moly. But yes, we will prevail. The Moroccans aren't going to get us down. Everyone's after the Barbary States and doing a bit of doing a bit of robbing. Portuguese. To be honest, I'm happy to kind of let the leave the Austrians be. Um, so it might not be complete abandonment of the continent yet. Um, cautious optimism. Is that gonna be the description I use? Potentially. Venetians. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port so to construct take... here. A fishing port. Okay, so let's go. Okay, you go over here and I'm going to figure out what's going on inside Europe itself. So is that a 12% chance of stealing it? Oh god alive, they got so much tech. Will attempt to steal this technology at the end of your turn? Well, I'll take that. I need you, I need to start stealing tech to keep it going. Cool, religious building. Start converting you, reducing your religious unhappiness. And let's do this to head off any immediate problems. Fortunately, resistance to foreign occupation will help us out a bit. A new nation arises at Saxony. Come on, Austria, you don't. You request peace. It's peace and trade. It's peace and trade and ally. Peace, trade, and I'll give you a cool... Nope. It says, well, I have to take this army in its weakened state, and I can at least scoot along with my cavalry. Small garrison, a couple of horsemen, all horsemen, so... Probably... Probably do this. I'm ready for next turn. 
High yield farm? That sounds like a deal to me. Which means I'll take whatever money I can get. Get religious and rest. Gone. That'll take a few turns. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this horrendous turn of events that's happened up here. Radio. Thanks, guys.